I was wearing human clothes, but I was cold, so I put on my onesie. <laughs> Today is the Apocalypto DVD and Digital Download Day. They came online about 56, 7 minutes ago, and I have bought my digital download. It was so slow. I could have stopped the apocalypse myself in the time it took for this the freaking thing to download. It was a bit higher than usual. But I can't be bothered to refilm what I've already filmed. So... This is your angle for today. Deal with it. I was debating about getting the DVD. But... I'm poor. So I went for the cheaper one. Also, I kind of figured, I mean, the extra 15 minutes, they're probably going to go on YouTube. I'm just saying. Also, I know a few of my friends have opted to get the DVD, so I can just watch that. <laughs> I just got a message. I now have... What do you now have? I now have to be a man in my head. That's my friend, Deb. Or Heather is another name people might call her. I'm actually writing her a story right now. Well, not right now, because right now I'm making a video. But, when I finish making this video and finish editing it and uploading it, then I will be writing her a story. Um, which is about what is it about? <laughs> I've forgotten. Oh, it's about um, Awesometopia, which is a place that we made because we're five years old. The king is Eddie Izzard, the queen is Dawn French, the prince is Tabuscus, the princess is Caters, one seven. The captain of the navy place is my friend Seb. Um, I am the dinosaur dresser because the prince has got a pet dinosaur and I dress the dinosaur of course Lauren Lopez is the chef the royal chef um who else is in it oh yeah Chris Colfer Chris Colfer is the he's like the biographer of the whole place and in the story that I'm writing him, he's, like, writing about the Navy base. Um, oh yeah, Darren! Darren's in it! You know, that you don't know Darren? No, I don't know. Who's Darren? I don't know. Whoever he is, he's in it. And he's one of the crew members of the claim ship. Are you kind of now understanding why my friend is the captain of the Navy? Because she's looking after all these ships. Yeah? Okay. I won't tell you what happens in the story because she watches these videos. Hi, Seb. So she will then know what happens in it. And I don't want her to know because I want her to read it. Because that's the whole freaking point of me writing a story for her. If I wanted to just tell her, then I'd just tell her. But I don't want to. I've freaking written a whole freaking story for her. So she's gonna read it. And she's not gonna know what happens. Although she knows that Finchel's involved, because I asked her who ships Finchel, and she says the only person I know who ships Finchel is my friend Rose. So Rose is the captain of the Finchel ship, because she's the only one who ships Finchel. And I've gone suddenly drunk. <laughs> I've suddenly drunk. I'm sorry. My day is totally awesome, because yesterday was Halloween, and I love Halloween. Another reason why my week was totally awesome was because last Sunday I went to Comic-Con, and it was amazeballs. At Comic-Con, I met a group of star kids, and they were awesome, and they gave me a drawing because they're awesome, and it was free, and it was amazing, and I've forgotten where I put it on my walls. It's up there, I'll show you. There it is. It's J.K. getting married on Mars. <sighs> These are mature things you wouldn't understand. 
Um, anything else? I don't think so. I can't think of anything else to say. No, no, oh, oh. I can't think of anything else to tell you. What you want to know? I can't think of anything else, anything else, anything, anything else, anything else, anything, anything else to say. So I guess that's it for me then.